After the strongest storm to impact Guam in decades slammed into the island, the governor of the U.S. territory is urging residents to continue to stay home for their protection and their safety. Typhoon Mawar toppled trees and flooded streets there yesterday. The governor says roads are passable, but residents are being asked to avoid driving until conditions improve. So far, no reports of any injuries or death from the storms there. And of course, we're heading into our stormy season. Hurricane season begins soon, Mike. Yeah, in fact, just about a week from today on June 1st, the National Weather Service has issued its outlook for the upcoming tropical season, and they're forecasting 12 to 17 named storms. That's a tropical storm or hurricane, 39 mile an hour winds are higher. Of those, five to nine will be hurricanes, and of those, one to four will be major hurricanes, category three or more. The 30-year average is 14, seven, and three, respectively. So if you go right in the middle of those numbers, that's actually pretty average for the 30 year period. And look at last year, we we're pretty close to an average season, but these numbers really don't tell you anything about the intensity of the storms uh, outside the, hur the major hurricanes or where they're going to hit. Last year we had Hurricane Ian, which caused a ton of damage, but there have been some seasons where we've had a lot of named storms and none hit the US. So at least the outlook is for possibly an average season coming up.